Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. I do a first impressions, reviews, Kmart hauls, vlogs on my channel. If you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, today I'm doing a first impressions and get ready with me type thing using all new drugstore makeup that I've picked up and I'm going to give you my thoughts. So I've done my brows, I've done my primer. Let's get some makeup onto this face. I'm hoping this background is okay. I'm actually in my bathroom. I wasn't feeling the kitchen so I've moved into the bathroom. Um, better lighting I think. Kind of better bathroom background maybe. I don't know. We're going to try the Rimmel Lasting Matte Foundation. I've got the shade Warm Porcelain. I've used this once so it's kind of like a second impression but you know we'll go with it. I'm going to blend it out. I have sponge. I normally blend it out with a foundation brush. My favourite from Australis but I'm blending it out with one from Emco Beauty. I've fallen in love with this. This is the Emco Beauty Magic Blending Sponge. It's super, super squishy. I love it. I'm not usually a sponge girl, so yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I need all the help I can get with the makeup today. I'm looking a little bit tragic. My skin's gone really dry because of the weather change here in Melbourne. I love that it's a little squeezy tube. It's quite a thick formula and it's meant to be good for people with acne. That's quite smoothing. I was going to say something else then, but I'm like, no, smoothing is the word that I want. So that's essentially like one pump that I dotted around my face. So I'm going to apply like another layer, build her up a bit. And it's meant to be a full coverage foundation. I love how it looks on my forehead. I wore it like a week ago, so I don't really remember what I thought about it. It blends out really nicely though. And this sponge doesn't actually like eat up a lot of the foundation, which I found with most sponges. That looks really nice. Um, I'm quite happy with how that's looking coverage-wise. You don't need to use much because it is quite a creamy consistency. I'm gonna get my concealer. So I picked up the a new e.l.f. Camo 16 hour wear concealer. I was almost gonna say foundation, but no, it's concealer. This is in fair beige. They've got like a lot of beige shades, like light beige, warm beige, lots of beiges. In America, they've got like 18 shades. In Australia, we've got nine. That's the thing, and on their website, $15 but in Kmart 10 so highly recommend that you get it from Kmart apparently it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape looks like it'll be a good colour for me Oh, that blends out nice. 
Again, I have worn this once. I went out last week for Kira's birthday and we stayed up all night long. We didn't go to bed till like 8.30 in the morning. These are like um, what I call dehydration marks and the fact that they're actually covering them, like they're not gonna cover the texture, but they're not actually amplifying. I wouldn't say this shade is necessarily good for spot concealing because I do think it's a little bit too light. Definitely looks good under the eyes though. Yep, I like how that sits, like it looks so smooth under the eyes. I'm really liking how that really looks. Put a bit on my forehead, on that pimple, see if it covers it up. Hmm. A little does go a long way, although I used a lot then, but you know. It really does look nice. For powder, just hang on a second and I will find it. So for powder, I have actually been using this for a little while, but it's new by Astralis. It's their strawberry setting powder. For Fairy Girls, I love this. It's amazing. Like it's brightening, but it's not... <laughs> because with banana powders and me, like they don't work, this works. It's very finely milled. I love how smooth that all looks. Mm, it looks good. For contour, I do have something new. I've only used this once. It's the new Astralis Sweet Like Chocolate Bronzer in the, ganache, in the shade Ganache Gold. And it smells like chocolate. That's the shade. It looks like warm in the pan, but on the skin, I love it. You know what it picks up? So Astral Astralis Priceline had their 50% off sale last, last week, this week. I didn't go because I thought I have way too much makeup. As it is, I don't really need anything new. So that's what I thought I'd just show you what I've got that is new in my collection. Like, look how that blends. It's so friggin' good. I love it. Gotta get that double chin. Oh yeah. And this is like a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this is only 10 bucks from Kmart. Like, this is so good. And it builds up so nicely. I love it. I actually didn't think I had any new blushes, but I do, I've got this little Flower Beauty. Palette, I've only used the bronzer out of it, which is decent, but I haven't actually yet used anything else. So I'm going to take that one. It's really pretty, and I'm obsessed with like corally peachy blushes at the moment. Oh, it's got some pigment. That's actually a really nice colour. That's pretty. And this is just a brush by Focalor. I really like that blush. But I do like any kind of peachy, corally blushes at the moment. 
That's pretty. Blends out nice too. Now that we got most of my base on, I've got the Emco Beauty Trend palette. Like, look how beautiful this is. Like, obviously, you don't need this palette if you have, you know, these kind of shades already, but I defy. And the brush is actually quite decent. I actually haven't used it. I've only, like, the palette itself, but the brush that comes with it is actually quite decent. Um, I think I paid. $12 ish. Um, I recommend getting from Woolworths because they're often on sale. Don't pay full price for that. I'm going to take this like caramely, caramely tan color up. There's more pigment than what I anticipated. But that looks really pretty. I do like that shade. Blending brush. This is one by Astralis. It's the Astralis. Mm. If you hear rain and traffic, it's because I am in my bathroom. They are powdery. But You'll get that with the powder because powders are made from powder. Like Damn, that's pretty. Blends out really well, not choppy, not patchy. Really pretty warm toned colour. Really nice shade. There's only four mattes in the palette, so there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. The rest are all shimmers, but at least they're on matte because from the drugstore it's hard to get a good matte. I'm going to take the darker brown. Seems like a warm toned brown. Powdery though, like there's a lot of kickback in the pan, but that doesn't bother me. Blend really well. They're not patchy, they're really, really smooth. Blend beautifully. I'm going to take Make sure that. I don't know why, but I am. I said a speech, but. They're really vibrant, like they're true to color from the pen on the eye. Pretty, but I think it's gone a little bit patchy, so I'll go back to that middle darker brown. So for the shimmer on the lid, I think I'm going to go with this pretty colour. It's almost like a duochrome. Not that my camera's picking it up, but if I swatch... Well, with my finger, I'll try it all wet. This is the Astralis Girl Boss Setting Spray. This is a repurchase. I absolutely love this stuff.
I actually think the mattes are better than the shimmers, which is weird to me. Normally shimmers are better. It's pretty though. Take the dark purple shimmer. Shits and giggles because, you know, that's what I do. And blend her out because I wasn't really feeling that purple, so I ended up putting that shade, which is pretty on the inner corners. And then I think I might do that for the brow bone because that's the lowest one. And then for under the eyes, I'm just going to take that same light brown that we started with. This is also like a Inco Beauty brush. It's not actually a bad eye palette. I think the shimmers are a bit hit and miss, but the mattes are really good. So to even up the look a little bit, I've got this eyeliner by Model Co. It actually reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay one. They're really, really creamy and soft. And then I'm just going to do eyeliner. This is the Astralis Mommy. Make me matte winged eyeliner, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I suck at winged eyeliner. Okay, I actually lied because I forgot that I had to do mascara. And um, people say the words mascara are really odd, like <laughs> mascara. Or is that just me? I got the Cabergirl Total Cheese mascara. Now I'm saying it mascara, mascara, tomato, tomato. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Looks like a medieval weapon. It's really, really scary when it comes towards your eye with that thing because it feels like it's going to poke you in the eye. It separates well, but I don't know if it volumizes. definitely makes it black and it does curl them. I don't mind it, there's no transfer either. So that's a little bit of eyeliner done, I suck at eyeliner, but I actually don't mind that mascara, it's really lengthening and separating, which I quite like the Astralis liquid eyeliner. It's quite decent, it's very pigmented. If I can find it, what have I done with it here? Very pigmented. This one's by Models Prefer. This is the Beam Collection. I don't know if you like colourful highlighters, but I do. Um, look, this is already dried down. Alright, so I'm going to take the gold highlighter, I think. Because I think it'll work with this warm toned look we have going on. Taking up this brush. Alright, so they are powdery, but... As I said, powder. See if there's any actual glow. Not much. All right, I'll get my other highlight. I've got this one by Models Prefer. It's the highlighting glow stick in the shade a champagne, or as I like to say, a champagne. That's what I do.
feels really creamy. Do we have a highlight? Oh, I see it. It's a very natural sheen. I can build it up by spraying. Oh, there we go. Alright, so the powder one does better. Layered. For lips, I have the Astralis Girl Boss. This is from their limited edition range. I think this is the shade Couture. I'll link it down below because I can't read without my glasses. It's a thing. I love that shade. Alright, so this is the finished look. Um, this is actually the shade of Vogue, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'll link it down below. Love the formula, really, really nice and comfy. This is a miss. But I got it pretty cheap anyway, so I'm not really that fussed. Um, sadly, I think this highlighting stick from Model Emco is also a bit of a miss. I thought it was going to be better than that because it's one of their best sellers. I am really liking this, although it's like just new, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I am enjoying this. It's really lengthening. I do quite like that. The e.l.f. concealer, I think you need, that is the bomb.com because that makes everything look flawless. Powder is one of my faves. Um, what else did I use? The Emco or Model Co. Eyeliner is also really good because it's like a dupe for the Urban Decay, what was it, 24? I love um, this has surprised me I like it but obviously if you've got shades like this in your collection already you don't need it I do suggest getting it on sale but it has created a really pretty look um, the blushes in this palette has actually really surprised me so now I'm gonna try the rest of the look the rest of the palette in another video because Flower Beauty. Um, my fave, I think, out of the two, or out of the products I use, definitely the e.l.f. concealer, that amaze balls, and the Astralis Sweet Light Chocolate Bronzer, that's a standout to me. Um, they've got like three shades in each, I've got new blushes, new bronzers, and I've got the golden, yeah, Ganache Gold. And again, smells like chocolate. So yeah, that's my look. If you like these kind of videos, as always, do give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out as a small YouTuber. And please request anything down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.